When believers were killed in all war, why no action? Adeola Fayehon to Senators seeking to impeach PMB. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. The Nigerian journalist Adeola Fayehon has taken to a verified Facebook page to react to the news that some Nigerian lawmakers are seeking to impeach President Buhari over the increasing insecurity in the country. You will recall, according to reports, that half senators from the opposition parties have given President Buhari six weeks ultimatum to address the rising insecurity in the country or face impeachment. President Buhari has faced threats of impeachment by the National Assembly at least four times since he resumed office in 2015. However, Adiola Yunis Oladili Fayehon, while commenting on this, asked from 10 minutes into the video, those that want to impeach President Buhari at this point, where were they when believers were killed during Owo massacre? She went further to list other attacks at the country that would have attracted this recent move. According to her view, now Abuja is under attack. They are coming out to take action because they no longer feel secured. From her opinion, she says this as a selfish one. I also see it as a selfish one, I tell you. When we are coming out to state problems, when they were attacking the north, it can't be like, say, now we, they talk so much. It can't be like, say, southerners, our mouths, they smell. Even northerners, they tell us they waiting concern us. Yes, they were going, killing people. Going on a killing spree, they'll kill one family, they'll render one, they'll render people traumatic for the rest of their lives. That time, if you go come, you go come, go talk, then go say, well, they make noise. Now, we don't be. They're no longer, they're no longer feeling safe. With their all mansions, with their security and tourage, with everything, they don't feel safe. They're not coming out to say they want to impeach the president. To me, if they must impeach, all of them must go. All. Not even one will remain. The only one that will be remaining will be those that have lent their voices to speak out for the masses when this when this matter don't start from the beginning. Not only do people will be saying we live for there. Yes now. Legislative is a problem Nigeria have in our democracy. They only believe undisclosed huge allowances and salary. Nothing concerns them concerns the cry of the poor masses. Some of them are not representing you anybody there. They're representing their pockets. Nothing more, nothing less. Self-preservation is the first law of nature. Now that senators will be dying, they suddenly woke up. Okay. Then they still have their brown envelopes filled with dollars. And they tell you, come on please, the action that they did that they did not take was not because of religion, because they were both Muslims or Christian. They are simply selfish without any other ulterior motive. And they tell you, these people are just selfish. They're not even caring for both Christians and Muslims. Even the so-called Muslims ones, they think they care for their people. All of them, they'll be the same thing. All. At least they did something. My take is that they should have tried and see that something drastic was achieved in the end. Otherwise, we'll consider them as toothless bulldogs. Did you hear this? Did you, did you listen to the part where they said they have actually tried to impeach Buhari? This is the fourth time. And at the end of the day, nothing goes up. So Buhari is used to their threats. If they do finish, they go calm down. Well, huh, that time they say our mouth does smell. Now, our mouth no longer they smell. Now, their own end they smell as they talk about this issue. I just hope that at the end of us all, that we are going to look back at this and it's going to be so blurry in our mind because this period, huh, this period is getting scary. Anybody we know, we go talk saying they feel this period, huh, the person is certainly not in Nigeria. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.